and welcome to my 200 sub celebration video. I promise something big, I'm gonna do something big in a small way. It's a project I've had in my mind for some time and it's taken to now to actually have some time to get around to it. Firstly, I wanna apologize for the sound quality. It's a bit echoey in here. Also the lighting, not great in here currently, but this is the place where my project is taking place. This is my downstairs toilet. Um, I've wanted a dedicated Lego room for a while, but my house isn't set up for that. Couple of rooms upstairs, couple of rooms downstairs, but then I thought to myself, what about the most unloved and unappreciated room in the house? The downstairs toilet. It's not really decorated, it's a functional space, it's there for what it needs to be there for. I want to change that. I want to make this a place that people will enjoy coming to other than the reason they need to come to it for. I want to stimulate people in this space in the most unweird way possible. Um, so yeah, this is my downstairs toilet and I'm going to transform it into a Lego room. Let me give you a quick tour. It won't take long. Here we go. Right. We have, here we go. There is a mirror on the wall, as you can see, in desperate need of decoration. We have a sink. Empty space above there. There is a cabinet, a small cabinet on the wall, currently not used for anything. Wood panelling. And of course, la pièce de résistance, la toilette. There is the toilet. Oh, and up here we have a skylight which has always annoyed me. Um, it's not the most attractive thing. I want to clean this up and do something with it. So yeah, that is my downstairs toilet. <sighs> Firstly, we've got to strip things back, get on with the painting, and then we'll crack on with transforming this room. Wish me luck. Well, that took a lot longer than I anticipated. 
I thought maybe I'd get this done in one weekend. It's actually taken a couple of weekends plus a few bits in the evenings. Um, the thing about a small room, the thing about a toilet, when it comes to painting, everything is edges and corners and detail. So even though it's a small room, it's all the fiddly bits that take the time. So that I didn't even get to the Lego until weekend two. Weekend one was all painting and preparation. The shelves were really fiddly. They were covered. They were rescued from a workshop. They were covered in muck and grime and clay and dust. Had to be sanded back completely. And I had to rebuild them slightly to fit around the toilet system properly. Um, and then came the fun bits. We're putting the detail of the Lego in. Those Lego Ikea boxes, the big leg boxes, they were perfect for the wall unit I've got in terms of the small boxes. They fit in those slots perfectly. And I finally got a place for my NASA Apollo 11. Really, really chuffed with that. So yeah, um, really, really fun to do. I'm really pleased with the end result. And here you go. Here's a little bit of a fly through of the finished toilet. So there's a couple of things I want to point out. There's a couple of ideas in there that I've taken from other people. I cannot remember who they're from or where they're from. So apologies for not giving the credit. But the little ghost light pull, um, genius idea. I think I saw that on a Facebook group somewhere, but I just had to replicate that. I just thought it was perfect for the light pull. And then using a Lego bag in an Ikea frame to make a Lego sign to go on the door. Um, I saw that fairly recently as well. So um, yeah, thanks to whoever gave me the inspiration for those. But all in all, I think it came together really well. The boxing around the edge with the minifigures standing around the out top. Find me a place to put all my minifigures that I haven't really got places for yet. I'm going to change them out because some of those do need to go in other places, but they'll change out over time. Those really cheap, tacky toilet seat covers and the mat, 
actually works really well in that room. And then the skylight. The previous skylight was grimy, hadn't been cleaned out for ages. Cleaning that up and then sticking the bricks in there for the floating bricks on the ceiling. Yeah, really pleased with that. So yeah, I'm really pleased with the room altogether. It's not finished yet. That is the finish of part one. I have got an idea for part two. Now you're probably thinking, where could there be any more changes, any more Lego? There is one big space. Actually, there's two big spaces that I want to take advantage of. Um, so if you do want to see those, I would recommend subscribing. Um, not sure how soon it's going to be. Part two sooner than later. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited and I can't wait to do more of this kind of thing. Um, yeah, just the idea of building, creating something new um, and not necessarily building with Lego, building something for Lego. I mean, I've already done my Lego coffee table. As I say, there is going to be a new version of that in 2021. Hopefully, probably. Yes, there will be. If I say it here, I have to make it happen. Um, and yeah, just these kind of Look, I don't live in a big house. I've not got a lot of space. So it's about being ingenious, I guess, for want of a better expression, about using the spaces I have got to make something that I like. So now I've turned the most boring, uninspiring, unused room in the house into something really quite exciting. So yeah, if you want to see more of this, like, subscribe, ring the bell, and all that gubbins. Thanks. Bye.